hi everyone you are most welcome back to my channel both old and new subscribers i love you all if you don't know me my name is juliana so we are going to be doing this distressed butterfly locks that i tried for the first time and i used this particular partition so i braided my hair into these small partitions and then i used it for the hair and what i used was darling natural twist the 20 inches and then i used the kinky for my red color in there and i sectioned my hair into three different parts when you open the package this is how it looks like so you take one you remove the ribbon from the hair and then you split the hair into two or you fold the hair into two and you grab your crochet pin put it under your hair you pull the hair with a crochet pin and then you pull under your hair okay now i have another video that that um gives you a step by step how to do crochet in case you do not know how to do crochet i have a beginner crochet video that you can look for a much proper um grab for crochet and now back to this so i'm trying to look at where i want my hair to end and pulling it to the to the length that i want it to be and you can see that one side is longer than the other so i'm flipping the one side or wrapping the longer side over to the other one and in this distress logs i i identified two methods that i used in this very method so whilst i am wrapping the longer side i place my thumb in between the hair and then wrap it around it and then continue to wrap down so it's like you are creating holes as you move along so that is the first thing that i identify that i could do and then um, you wrap it alongside so again you place your finger inside the hair and then you wrap it just as i am doing below the your finger and then you continue wrapping down until you have gotten to your preferred length and then you braid downwards so that's the first method that i identified when i started and when i realized that i had gotten to where i wanted the hair to reach what or how i am doing this seal is that um first of all i fold the the ends downside up like i have folded and you see you can see that i've created a hole when i am doing the downside up and using the longer braid that i used to braid downwards wrapping it across the one that I, that I folded up and then grabbing the whole other hair that I have folded upside up and downside up and using it to wrap backwards as if I am wrapping um, upwards like as you can see <laughs> yeah I hope you get that so once I, I, um, um, I finish wrapping up then I just wrap the whole thing in between my palms now I'm going to take it again um from my back so again you pass the crochet hair into your hair and then you grab the hair with your crochet pin you close the latch and then you pull you pull you pull and then you pull and make one side longer than the other making sure that the shorter side is how you are measuring your length and you compare it to the very first braid that you braid so that you do not have too many errors with the various lengths that you braid and so again i am wrapping the the longer part over the shorter part like i did for the first one And then do not wrap it too tight or too loose because the natural twist is somehow very very soft um it's it creates the natural look itself so you don't have to really tighten it or make it loose you just have to be moderate about it and again you see my thing my thumb is in there you place your thumb in there and then you wrap it below your thumb so you remove your thumb gently and then you wrap it below your thumb so basically that is the first method that i identified and i'm going to continue with the others for the second part that or the second method that i identified
some people do the seal the ends differently i saw this um method for how to seal the ends in another video i see a lot of people seal it and i just decided to try and it just locks it doesn't unravel it doesn't unravel so i repeated the same thing for the my back and then i when i got to the other parts as i was braiding i figured out that there, there could be another way or there's another way that i can do i can create the holes or create the the stress lock so i placed my finger in there like the first one but then this time around i wrapped the longer hair over the my thumb so with the first method instead of wrapping the longer side below your the thumb that you you place in your finger in between your the hair and then your thumb you rather wrap it above the your thumb okay now for this last trance that i am going to braid i'm going to repeat it very very slowly i'm not going to fasten it i'm going to repeat it very very slowly so it's the same method that you is the same thumb method but then you you wrap it <laughs> i hope you are getting me so i'm using another another hair because it's the frontal part and i need to, to make the ends very very equal and so i'm just adding the the hair to make it a bit fuller and then in order to meet the length that i want so as you can see i'm placing my my thumb over there or in between how i am braiding and then wrapping the hair above my thumb but then you see that my thumb is still in between the hair and i'm wrapping it before before now that i come to wrap it below what english am i speaking oh my goodness i'm trying to explain it to you guys but then i hope you get the trick so you place your thumb in there you wrap the hair above your thumb for the second method okay before you now come and wrap it below so for the first method you wrap it below your thumb when you place your finger in there but in the second method you wrap it above your thumb before you now come and wrap it below i hope you get it i really do hope you got it you got it and then otherwise please repeat it repeat the video as many times as you want and then um learn how i do the butterfly locks and for the last time that i am sealing the end i fold the very end downward up and then i use a longer part and braid upwards and as i am braiding upwards i grab the rest of the hair that i folded and use it to continue to braid upwards until i have exhausted all the hair remaining and then when i am done i rub it in between my palms and because it is natural it leaves that the natural look and it doesn't unravel okay so i am done basically and this is the distressed butterfly locks that i use the darling twist natural and kinky hair to braid and then after i was done i put on my makeup and then put on some hair accessories to i mean beautify the hair and you know with hair accessories you can place them randomly wherever you deem fit i have a i recorded the makeup look if you want to have a look just comment below and let me know and then i'll put it right on my channel for you to see it's just a soft makeup that i did for church <laughs> so voila this is the butterfly looks I do hope you like it and i hope it is simple for you if you are not a braider i would recommend that you watch it several times and then practice and practice you can as well let somebody do your individual braids with your natural hair before you do it i really hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have other videos on makeup and a lot more for you guys installed um i love you see you in my next videos bye